Okay, guys, welcome to another live reaction. It's a new One Piece chapter, chapter 955. Enma. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to be focusing on Zoro, I guess, today. Maybe Odin. We'll see. Gang Bridges, Oh My Family, Volume 6. Let's pick up supplies on that island. Hmm. <laughs> island structure looks so really is that that's not just Rosa, is it? Looks like Dress Rosa. Huh. Interesting. I am worried okay, so we start off with the uh, Hiari. I am worried about um Otoko. But Karma to I I will not go with you to to meet everyone yet. It is forbidden to rouse emotions before the start of a war. Nani. Resolve amongst the fallen snow, please. She's kneeling down. Join together and protect Wano. Princess, you cannot bow to us. Wano country, Curie, Amis Amiga South Village. Whoa, is that true? Lady Hiori is alive? But if you're going to tell them anyway, then what's the point? Okay. That tomboy says something so courteous. She really has grown up. That tomboy. Come on, I can only imagine the worst after you were caught. Where is she now? Is she protecting... Her? Is someone protecting her? Rest assured, we left her at a safe location. Anyway, I'm so glad. Seriously. Kinemon. Brother, flying kick. Oof. Hey, Yuri, he's remembering her. Oh, okay, so she was a tomboy. Was it you who saved her, Zoro Juro? I'm forever grateful. Hiri may be crude, but she's actually a wee crybaby. Look who's talking. Hey, Momo, how long are you going to live in the past? She's 18 years older than you, though. Ah, huh? A flying kid from someone 18 years older, that would hurt. <laughs> was she the beauty that was with you earlier? Look at Saji. <laughs> but when those kids, is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, this guy. Oh, God, you're so... See, there's something else, Sanji. Don't try to butter up her older brother, you dumbass. <laughs> the parishions are complete. Is this really okay? Yes, there is no turning back now. Sorry, Tetsu, I retrieved this from Luffy Tower and Udon. Oh, it's a Nidai Ketetsu. Why did he retrieve it from Luffy? He didn't even have it. What? Whatever. I mean, you can say Kaido's people pick it up. Okay. Oh, thank you. That boy just grabbed it without permission. Ketetsu. Like I thought, it was a famous sword. All right, now. My name is Tenguyama Hitetsu. I'm a bladesmith in Wano. Were you now introducing yourself? For 20 years, I've been waiting for the day that I would be able to return these to the two of you. Oh, Enma and, um... I forgot what the other one was called. The blade said to be able to cut even the skies. I'm in no Habakiri. And the blade said to be able to slice through hell itself, Enma. These are Lord Odin's beloved blades. They look nice. Said to be on the same level as Sushri. Oh, ho, ho, ho. these are two of the 21 great, great swords. That's good to know. That's good. Oof, Zoro. Oh, my God. Zoro fans are going to go crazy. What do you think of my masterpiece Lord Momonosuke well I think I'm not ready yet for I oof, well oof, okay well I think I am not yet ready for it 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 is not because I'm scared but please hold on to it for a while longer as for Enma it is now yours let me just say this Zoro's holding it only one person in this country has ever been able to tame Enma it was Kozuki Olden Yo, what the heck? I just looked at the bottom panels. Try to cut that tree over there. So, Zoro, I will be born with you. 
if it were me, I would not accept this blade. I mean, you're weak, so whatever. Yo, Zoro cut off the edge of the cliff, huh? He cut the whole cliff off. Even Sanji surprised. Zgua, Zoro's, Zoro's arms. Yo, his arm is not black. Is his arm getting skinnier? Is it draining his life force? Or his hockey? You. Give it back to me. Oh, shit. Oh, it gave it back. Like, I don't know if it was, it's taking his will, like his hockey. Or something. Like, he didn't give it back to me. He gives it back to him. Huff, huff. This sword will force its wielder to release excessive amounts of Rio. Okay, hockey, yep. And will cause unnecessarily large strikes. If you were just some normal sword, me, you would have had all your ADs like that and collapse immediately. Well done. What do you want to do? Do you want a different sword? No, I'll take it. Look at his face. Enma. So what this means is, once I've gotten used to this sword, I'll be even stronger. What the name is it, man? Kappa Papa. <laughs> Yikes. Zoro fans are going to go crazy. Kuri, Amiga Sub Village. Three days left until the raid. Oh my god. Yo, what is. It's, just, it's weird to me how, like. Now it's just. Whatever. During my investigation, that's Robin. I was able to find out that the uh, Beast Pirates army is around 20,000 strong. Sure. It's not like they're even matter, the headliners or whatever. <laughs> a Shogun and Rochi would have around 10,000 men escorting him during the Shogun procession. In other words, on the day of the R raid, there will be three thousand. I mean, oof, there will be thirty thousand enemies on Onigashima. We do not want to get the commoners involved either. Not to mention the enemy's territory advantage. Is that a territorial advantage? Whatever. Even with the Manchu blueprints, we are still at a disadvantage. On the other hand, we have roughly four thousand people. We can rule out a straight up confrontation. Thirty thousand versus four thousand. Yikes. Did we already know that they had 20,000 people? Hmm. Okay. Kiri, Port, Itachi. All of you get to fixing them. We don't have much time. We need these 30... We need these 30 enough to carry 10,000 people just to be safe. There will not be that many. You idiot. There's nothing wrong with making sure we have extra. It is a waste of time and effort. Let us... Let's make it about how many people will gather. <laughs> Udon prisoner man, King Kong gun. Okay. Doesn't look that big. Whoa. It's not enough. You are using too much brute strength. Yo, he looks so tiny. <laughs> oh man, he looks so tiny. That is not enough. Amiga Savage Bamboo Forest. Zoro Juro, I was told not to say the word Sunachi. The geezers in my village used to say it back in the day. So it was something that I just picked up. Huh? Yep, okay. Amiga Sub Village, two days until the raid. Yo, this is. What is going on? Like, first he's like, is a little slow, and now he's like rushing in the last two chapters. We've arrived. We've made it, Master. Hey, Chopper, Luffy, oh, Luffy's that he's sleeping. I'm assuming he's probably, like, not, like, completely mastered, but, like, he's done, He's he has enough of the Rio, and so he's probably going to be sleeping until the day of the raid, probably until they actually get there. <laughs> well, Tom, I was so worried. Kachak. Sakinima, we have gathered 200 more people. Okay, that's, those are the other um, Yakuza bosses. Seriously? With this, our numbers have grown to around 4,200. Okay, against... Uh-oh, I have yet to hear from Sir Law, but who, who cares if he joins or not? If she, I hope Shidobu dies. She's really pissing me off. Who cares if she joins, if he does not? No, he's insanely strong, Shinobu. 
Brick bro trains too much. He's not waking up at all. Yeah, he's not waking up till the you guys actually get to the island. The flower capital. Russ said to this for the prisoner showcase. The people climb the capital. It's difficult to say, but there is nothing we can do. Even their families have been caught. The hardest the hardiest of samurai there, but hey guard, this festival is soon to start. I want to attend it. Not a chance, silence. Damn it. This is our final chance, even though everyone is putting their lives on the line. You have worked hard, everyone. Use our main time to move and prepare for the upcoming battle. We shall meet at the promised port. Understood. Can you imagine if, like, they get there, like, Big Mom is just waiting for them or something? Or Big Mom's crew? <laughs> Kuriyamega sub-village, one day until the raid. What is this? Well, Sir Luffy, our group will believe it now. We must arrive ahead of everyone else. Okay, the sun is on the beach here, so we'll be fine. Don't get captured. Of course, we'll be on high alert. We are counting on you. You can count on us. What if they get captured? All right, let's meet at the port. Yeah. Uh-oh. Is that the narrator? <laughs> Something is about to be shown, huh? Oh, my God. Most at the end of the chapter. In this country, there are countless industrial chimneys. And even more unfortunate laborers. Is it true? What do you mean? Hey, did you hear that rumor about Lord Yasui? They said that he covered for the red scabbards. What? That paper apparently was not just a prank. It was a hidden message for a raid. Yo. Do not give me false hope. The Kuzuki family met such a terrible fate 20 years ago. Even if Kimo and the others have survived somehow, their minds must be shattered at this point. They will not be able to stand up to them again. Hey, hang in there. We will never be free. Oh, someone has collapsed. In a closed-off country like this, no help will come. There is no one who is able to stand up against... Ka okay. I'm going to say this right now. I don't know. But I feel like in the next two panels, they're going to show someone else arriving at Wano. Because they've made a point twice in this chapter already. That they did not have enough forces to counter Kaido's 30,000. They only had 4,200. And now this one says, in a close off country like this, no one's going to come to help. Let's see. Who's going to show up? I wonder. Together with the seven of, together with seven of the red scabbards, one ninja and one leading figure, they depart in silence. They walk upon the withered earth, the land's hollow cries ringing out like the winter frost. Shrost is spelled Shimo like Shimotsuki, okay. The dazzling sun burns brightly in the midday sky. Sparse streaks of clouds strewn across the heavens. Twenty years pass, burning with the weight of being unable to avenge their master. They wander across these lands as ghosts. The sun illuminates their figures, burning nine deep shadows into the barren ground. If we merge with us, we will make sure to build them grander, grander graves. Yasue, you see Itoka crying. Wanda is crying. Look at Pedro. But it's like we didn't get any emotional thing with them. The Minx finding out Pedro is dead. Boy, are you getting used to? <laughs> he calls it boy. Boy. Are you getting used to Edba? Hmm? That sword you wield, the Sandai Ketetsu, is my creation. Really? They are similar in that neither can be wielded by the weak. But the main reason that you are getting used to it... Oh, my God. I cannot read today. But the main reason that you are getting used to it so quickly is because that white sword, the Wado Ichimonji and Enma, were made by the same person. His name was Shimotsuki Ko oh my God. Kozaburo. He left his country legally over 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Perhaps Lady Hiyori noticed that blade of yours, which prompted her to give you her father's keepsake. Enma has yet to become a black blade. In your hands, I'm sure it will reach that level. Hmm. So a man like Odin couldn't turn it black? I'm a little... That's a little weird. Okay, now... Luffy punches... A tree, and then it turns... Uh, it gets destroyed. She, 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 she. 
Jesse Wake kind of. Okay. Udon is fine. Yes, there are no problems at all. Hmm. Was that a false report? How dare he do something so untrustworthy? Oh, well, as long as I can suppress it, it will be okay. So it has changed from Port Habu to Port Tokage. Kozuki Hiyori is alive at the Northern Graveyard. Hmm? Then you see Law. What is going on? Now, get ready. With clear blue skies and cherry blossoms scattered across the flower capital, the curtains finally fall on the day of the fire festival. Move out of the way. The shogun procession is passing through. The war that will shake the fear of the world itself will now begin. Wano Country Act 2. Stay tuned. Finn. I definitely got to do a video about this chapter. <laughs> I always say I'll do, but I definitely have to do one about this chapter. What is Law doing? What's that expression of his? Like, what is he going to do? And we found out that the, um, Ichimonji and... Um, Enma are kind of are connected. We find it's finally like confirmed who actually went to um um who left Wano went to the East Blue. Obviously like their plans can't um it, <laughs> everything was going too smoothly and Arochi knows what's going on. That is crazy. He knows where they got the port is going to be. He knows Hiyori is alive. But does he know that Hiyori is... Um... I don't even remember what her name was. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Damn, Momo's gonna be in this war too. They gotta keep this guy alive. My problem is like, out of all the chapters we've gotten, why didn't Oda set a, some time aside to show like the Minx getting the news about um, Pedro dying? And I like seeing that Zoro and Luffy are training, but it's like, I hope the other star has a training because I don't want to see some BS power-ups from them. <laughs> and I want to know more about these swords because it's like, this sword is was draining the hockey, right? It's like, so, it's like, I understand, like, you know, depending on the blade, like, it can be a part, but it's like, and it was shown here, like, but say like, I want to know more about it. Like, why is a blade like you know taking up your hockey? Like, you know, why is that the case? Like, there has to be something to it. I I wish we I hope we can get that more explained. Like how like the what they were saying in the other chapters about like you know the swords or like holding like the soul and powers of like the wielder. I was thinking that maybe Law is going to break out the people still in um, the Rosetsu district. That could be a thing. I wonder. Huh. And these people talking out loud. It's probably how um, what's his name came to this information. Hmm. Act two is over. I'm happy there's no break. So we're gonna go right into act three um next week.
The war that will shake the fate of the world itself will now begin. Those are some hefty words. Hefty words. You were really getting to the war. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -mm. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good night.